This is uh, going to be a new installation. I'm just going to take out these boards and everything. Um, prime this floor. Then I'm going to lay this decouple mat in from Thermosphere. This is the raw one, and this is the latest ones which are out, which uh, are come pre cut a metre square. So, as you can see, it uh, gives ease of use. Um, a lot of time with the uh, mat, they can curl up. Um, so I think this is why they've gone this kind of system. So just a metre square. So got to get all swept up, kind up. And then I'm going to show you installing the mats and then installing the wire and then levelling over. So as you can see here, everything's been swept off. Just priming up. Got all this to prime it now. Primed up this half. I'm gonna prime it all up, give it another sweep back just in case we missed any bits of plaster. Give it another little bit of a prime over at the top. And then we'll start laying the mat. This is the uh, 15 metre roll. Which is the normal. And then these are the new. Meant to be improved to stop it curling up. When, when the uh, mat does curl up, or if it does curl up, just try to put some sort of weight on the corners just until it's tuck. Once it's been sat there for a good 10, 15 minutes, usually it takes the bend out of it. So that helps out there. But yeah, just uh, let me show you a little bit of progress. Floor's primed up. Just waiting for that to soak in a little. So I've primed up now. Just going to give it another sweep off. And then uh, we'll mix up as adhesive. We've got some uh, some grey rapid tile master adhesive here. It's uh, adhesive, which is uh, very good. It's one I use all the time. So there's a particular stone going on here. So there's quite an easy to fix on top of that. Once we've got the heat mat in, the mat in, and then once we run the heat wire, uh, it's sticky with Tire Master, got the level flex, but we'll just skim over the top, protecting the wires, uh, and then we're ready for tiling, then tomorrow, when the tiles turn up. So yeah, just uh, show you them again. So these don't curl up because they're a metre square easier. On the rolls, because they're curled and over, uh, that must be what a lot of people have mentioned before. I mean, I've never heard of struggle person that's trying to keep the mats down. Um, but yeah, so to show you that. So we'll be ready to start sticking this down in about five, 10 minutes once that's uh, soaked in a little bit more. So, as you can see, we've set out, we've done this big roll first, done a couple of cards down, turn it the opposite way, let it settle. So, then what we'll do before we're about to install, we'll flip it back the other way, we'll start sticking half it down, lay it back down on itself, and then lift the other end up, sedate the other half, then we'll go over it. With uh, me personally, I go over it with a scaffold bar, meat wide scaffold bar, so it's the right width. And you just get that little bit of leverage back down, forcing the mats down. So, as you can see, there's a little bit of curl on that, but there's nothing too major. Some people have different methods, air uh, dryers, different things. What I like to do is get them laid out, get them resting, and then you can see that it's not going to be, it's not curling up that much. Everyone's got different methods with these. So. Put in, and flip these over, and then uh, might do a time lapse so you can see as it's getting inside.
As you can see, so much of this is down now. These are the meat the square mats. This is the roll. Like I said, people know what they're doing. If they, if they are springing back, and what I tend to do is lay them, rest them flat, as it were, such as they're laying flat, the opposite way. And then if they don't curl up when you turn them the other way, just turn them over on themselves a little bit, both sides, and uh, they're not springing up. If they were springing up, got plenty of weight there, it'd be easy to put on top until it's just tuck, until it's easy to just dry off. So, what we do, we sit at this, go over with us, scaffold pole over the top, get a little bit more leverage there, and then uh, set it up. But always, just double check your coverage under your mat. That's what you're looking for, full coverage. So, just a demonstration of the road, just go over there, scaffold pole, get plenty of, get plenty of weight on that. Initially, when I thought about scaffold pole, I thought rolling it over, but it doesn't work like that. You just get enough pressure with that, with that pole down on it. So, yeah. Just these few bits to cut in, and then we're going to get stuck down. Same method, scaffold pole, push down. Now the floor's all cutting, we uh, get the Averio Pro system out. Now this is going to repair up this wall, uh, they've not left the chairs. So what we'll do is we'll take the wire up against the wall and the electricians can get it into the wall. So this is the cable, the cable and then what we're going to do is we're going to run this cable from this out here running from this area here but then we also need uh, the probe the probes are always inside the uh, thermostats so this is the stat for this uh, particular one so what I'll do is open that up get the probe out uh, that is the most important thing never ever forget the probe being in the floor so that'll go in the wires will tail ends will be going up and I'll just tape them to walls for uh, the electricians to uh, to do their part on that. So once I've got this wire in, um, we're going to level over with this uh, south level uh, goes off roundabout for that setting. Three hours it says. So all depends. Sometimes if you put a fan on, it speeds that up a touch. Right. Just laid all this, all in, all laid, nice and equal. And then just panicking, then I cut the and start. I just had it out with pro, like I say, that's the main thing. But yeah, here we just under uh, some instructions. So yeah, that's in ready for the uh, electrician to do his work. So we're going to uh, now make up, mix up some level up, get this, uh, get this leveled in. So. Yeah, happy days.
Right, as you can see, hot laser level go over. So that's just uh, going up now. Just put the fan on. Just to uh, let it go. You know, just the airflow gets it turning a little bit quicker. Because it's you've still got the normal set time like it says, but well, might just speed up a little bit of airflow does something. So then when you have a look at it, if you still think you need another level over, that's when you can go back over and uh, that's when you can get another level over, but that's quite fine. But what's going down on top of this? Some, uh, some stone. So, yeah. Some nice lime stone going to be going down this. Thing. Nice conservatory, but that's an installation done for the uh, Ferdio Pro. Step by step, 